Captain Luke Anders stood on the bridge of the UESF Resolute, his eyes fixed on the holographic display of the war-torn planet below. The Galactic Council had issued a call for a ceasefire, urging all factions to lay down their arms and seek a diplomatic resolution. But the humans had other ideas. The enemy, a brutal alliance of alien races known as the Draken, had been wreaking havoc across the galaxy, and humanity had suffered greatly. Luke's orders were clear. Take the fight to the Draken and end their reign of terror once and for all. Captain Anders, we're receiving a transmission from the Galactic Council, Lieutenant Jenna Connors reported, her voice tense. Put it through, Luke said, bracing himself for the inevitable reprimand. The image of Counselor Varn appeared on the screen, his expression stern. Captain Anders, the Council has issued a ceasefire. You are to stand down immediately. Luke met Varn's gaze with steely determination. With all due respect, Counselor, the Draken don't understand diplomacy. They only understand force. We can't afford to wait while they regroup and attack us again. Varn's eyes flashed with anger. You are defying a direct order, Captain. This will have consequences. So be it, Luke replied, cutting the transmission. He turned to his crew. Prepare for combat. We move out in ten. The Resolute and its fleet of warships descended through the atmosphere, their engines roaring as they approached the Draken stronghold. Luke knew the risks, but he also knew that the only way to secure peace was to eliminate the threat. All units, engage at will, Luke commanded. The sky lit up with the brilliance of laser fire and missile strikes as the human fleet launched its assault. The Draken were ready, their defenses springing to life with a ferocity that matched the human attack. Luke maneuvered the Resolute with precision, directing its firepower at key targets while coordinating with the other ships in the fleet. Captain, we've got enemy fighters incoming, Jenna called out. Deploy the interceptors, Luke ordered. Keep them off our backs. The battle raged on, the air thick with the sounds of explosions and the cries of combatants. Luke's focus never wavered as he led his forces with a combination of tactical brilliance and sheer determination. With the Draken defenses weakening, Luke gave the order to deploy ground troops. The Resolute touched down on the planet's surface, its ramp lowering to reveal rows of armored soldiers ready for battle. Move out, Luke shouted, leading the charge. The human troops stormed the Draken fortress, their weapons blazing as they fought their way through the enemy ranks. The Draken were fierce and relentless, but the human soldiers fought with a tenacity born of desperation and the desire for revenge. Luke's leadership inspired his men, driving them forward despite the overwhelming odds. As they pushed deeper into the fortress, Luke spotted the Draken commander, a hulking figure clad in dark armor. That's our target, he said, rallying his troops. Take him down. The battle intensified as the humans closed in on the commander. Luke fought with everything he had, his determination unyielding. With a final surge, they overpowered the Draken defenses and captured the commander. Back on the Resolute, Luke and his officers interrogated the Draken commander, seeking information about their plans and operations. The alien was defiant at first, but the human's relentless questioning began to wear him down. We know you're planning another attack, Luke said, his voice cold and demanding. Tell us where and when, the Draken commander sneered. You think you can stop us? We are everywhere. Our forces are already on the move. Luke's heart sank as the realization hit him. The Draken were planning a large-scale assault on multiple fronts, aiming to crush humanity once and for all. We need to warn the Council, Jenna said urgently. No, Luke replied, his mind racing. We can't rely on them. We need to stop this ourselves. With the information gleaned from the Draken commander, Luke and his team set out to thwart the enemy's plans. The clock was ticking, and they had no time to lose. Prepare the fleet, Luke ordered. We have to intercept their forces before they reach their targets. The human ships raced through space, their engines pushed to the limit. As they approached the coordinates provided by the Draken commander, they encountered the enemy fleet, larger and more formidable than they had anticipated. We're outnumbered, Jenna said, her voice filled with worry. We can't back down now, Luke replied, his resolve unwavering. All units, engage the enemy. We have to hold them off. The space battle was intense and chaotic, with ships from both sides maneuvering and firing in a deadly dance. Luke directed the Resolute with precision coordinating the fleet's movements and targeting the most critical threats. Focus on their command ships, Luke ordered. We need to disrupt their coordination. 
The human fleet fought valiantly, their determination and skill evident in every maneuver. Despite being outnumbered, they managed to inflict significant damage on the Draken forces. Captain, we've taken heavy damage, Jenna reported. We can't keep this up much longer. Luke's mind raced as he considered their options. They needed a decisive move, something that would turn the tide in their favor. Prepare the ion cannons, Luke ordered. We're going to disable their flagship. Jenna's eyes widened in surprise. That's a risky move, Captain. We don't have a choice, Luke replied. It's our only chance. The Resolute closed in on the Draken flagship, its ion cannons charging with energy. The enemy ship loomed large, its weapons trained on the human fleet. Fire, Luke commanded. The ion cannons unleashed a powerful blast, striking the Draken flagship and causing its systems to short circuit. The massive ship drifted helplessly, its defenses compromised. Now's our chance, Luke said. All units, focus fire on the flagship. The human fleet rallied, concentrating their firepower on the disabled flagship. The Draken forces scrambled to defend their command ship, but the damage was done. The flagship erupted in a series of explosions, sending shockwaves through the enemy fleet. Captain, the Draken are retreating, Jenna exclaimed. Luke allowed himself a brief moment of relief. We've got them on the run. Pursue and eliminate any remaining threats. The human ships pressed their advantage, chasing down the retreating Draken forces and securing a hard-fought victory. The battle had been costly, but they had achieved their objective. The battered human fleet regrouped, their spirits lifted by the victory but tempered by the losses they had suffered. Luke addressed his crew, acknowledging their bravery and resilience. We've dealt the Drake in a significant blow, Luke said, but this war is far from over. We need to stay vigilant and be prepared for whatever comes next. The crew nodded, their determination evident. They knew that the fight for humanity's survival was ongoing, and they were ready to continue the struggle. With the Council's cautious approval, Luke and his fleet prepared for a strategic offensive to push the Draken back further. They analyzed intelligence reports and formulated a plan to target key Draken strongholds. Our next objective is the Draken Supply Depot in the Xandar system, Luke briefed his officers. If we can disrupt their supply lines, it will cripple their ability to wage war. The fleet set course for the Xandar system, ready to strike at the heart of the Draken war machine. As they approached their target, Luke addressed his crew, his voice filled with determination. This mission is crucial to our overall strategy. Stay focused and execute your orders with precision. Let's show the Draken that humanity will not back down. The battle for the Xandar system was fierce, with the Draken defenders putting up formidable resistance. Luke led his forces with tactical brilliance, coordinating their movements and exploiting weaknesses in the enemy's defenses. Focus on their supply ships, Luke ordered. We need to cut off their resources. The human fleet launched a relentless assault on the Draken supply depot, targeting warehouses and storage facilities. Explosions rocked the depot as vital supplies were destroyed, leaving the Draken forces scrambling to defend their dwindling resources. Captain, the Draken are deploying reinforcements, Jenna reported. Luke's mind raced as he considered their options. We need to hold our ground, send in the bombers to take out their reinforcements. The human bombers swooped in, delivering devastating payloads that crippled the incoming Draken forces. The tide of battle began to turn in favor of the humans, their relentless assault wearing down the enemy. After hours of intense fighting, the Draken defenses began to crumble. Luke seized the opportunity to push forward, leading a final assault on the supply depot's central command center. All units, concentrate your fire on the command center, Luke commanded. Let's finish this. The combined firepower of the human fleet overwhelmed the Draken defenses, and the command center was reduced to rubble. The remaining Draken forces retreated, leaving the supply depot in ruins. We've done it, Jenna said, her voice filled with relief. The depot is destroyed. Luke nodded his expression grim but determined. This is a major victory, but we can't let our guard down. The Draken will retaliate, and we need to be ready. As expected, the Draken launched a massive counterattack in response to the destruction of their supply depot. Human colonies and outposts across the galaxy came under siege, and the Resolute was called upon to defend them. Captain, we're receiving distress signals from multiple locations, Jenna reported. The Draken are hitting us hard. Luke's mind raced as he formulated a plan. 
We need to split our forces and provide support where it's needed most. Coordinate with the other fleets and prepare for immediate deployment. The Resolute and its fleet divided their forces, rushing to the aid of beleaguered human settlements. The battles were fierce and relentless, with the Draken determined to crush humanity's resistance. Luke fought with everything he had, leading his forces with unwavering resolve. Despite the overwhelming odds, the human defenders held their ground, driven by the desire to protect their homes and loved ones. As the climax of the Draken counterattack approached, the human forces rallied and launched a series of offensives that pushed the enemy back further and further. We can't let them take new Terra, Luke said, his voice filled with determination. This is our last stand. We hold the line here no matter what. The battle for new Terra was the fiercest yet, with both sides suffering heavy losses. Luke's leadership and tactical brilliance were put to the ultimate test as he directed his forces in a desperate bid to repel the invaders. Captain, the Draken are breaching our defenses, Jenna warned. We can't let them through, Luke replied, his voice steely. Rally the troops and prepare for a counteroffensive. The human defenders launched a determined counterattack, pushing the Draken forces back inch by inch. The fighting was brutal and relentless, but the humans refused to give in. With every inch they gained, their resolve grew stronger, and they knew that this battle could be the turning point in their war for survival. As the battle for New Terra raged on, Luke realized that their current strategy wouldn't be enough to hold the line. The Draken forces were overwhelming, and their advanced weaponry was wreaking havoc on the human defenses. They needed a decisive move, something that would change the course of the battle. Prepare the ion cannons, Luke ordered. We're going to disable their flagship. Jenna's eyes widened in surprise. That's a risky move, Captain. If we fail, we don't have a choice, Luke replied firmly. It's our only chance. The Resolute closed in on the Draken flagship, its ion cannons charging with energy. The massive enemy ship loomed large on the horizon, its weapons raining destruction upon New Terra's surface. Fire! Luke commanded. The ion cannons unleashed a powerful blast, striking the Draken flagship and causing its systems to short circuit. The massive ship drifted helplessly, its defenses compromised. Now's our chance, Luke said. All units, focus fire on the flagship. The human fleet rallied, concentrating their firepower on the disabled flagship. The Draken forces scrambled to defend their command ship, but the damage was done. The flagship erupted in a series of explosions, sending shockwaves through the enemy fleet. Captain, the Draken are retreating, Jenna exclaimed. Luke allowed himself a brief moment of relief. We've got them on the run. Pursue and eliminate any remaining threats. The human ships pressed their advantage chasing down the retreating Draken forces and securing a hard-fought victory. The battle had been costly, but they had achieved their objective. The battered human fleet regrouped, their spirits lifted by the victory but tempered by the losses they had suffered. The once serene landscape of New Terra was now scarred by the brutal conflict, but it stood as a testament to the resilience and determination of its defenders. Luke addressed his crew, acknowledging their bravery and resilience. We've dealt the Draken a significant blow he said. But this war is far from over. We need to stay vigilant and be prepared for whatever comes next. The crew nodded, their determination evident. They knew that the fight for humanity's survival was ongoing, and they were ready to continue the struggle. As they began repairs on the Resolute and tended to the wounded, Luke and Jenna reviewed the battle data. We've weakened them, but they'll come back stronger, Jenna said. We need to use this time to fortify our defenses and gather more allies. Luke agreed. We'll reach out to other human colonies and allied species. The Draken need to understand that we're united against them. The victory at New Terra inspired a renewed sense of hope and resolve across the galaxy. Messages of support and offers of aid poured in from various colonies and allied species, all eager to stand together against the Draken threat. One evening, as the sun set over the still smoldering battlefield, Luke stood atop a hill overlooking the ruins. Jenna joined him, her expression contemplative. We've come so far, but the road ahead is still long, Luke said. Jenna nodded. We'll face it together, Captain. Humanity has shown its strength and resilience. As long as we stand united, we can overcome any challenge. Luke placed a hand on her shoulder. You've been an invaluable part of this journey, Jenna. I couldn't have done it without you. She smiled, a glint of determination in her eyes. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. We'll keep fighting, 
for New Terra, and for every colony out there. As they stood together, the first stars of the night began to twinkle in the sky, a reminder of the vast galaxy they were fighting to protect. Their bond had been tested and strengthened by the fires of battle, and they knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together. With renewed resolve, Luke and Jenna returned to the Resolute, ready to continue the fight. The battle for New Terra had been a turning point, but the war was far from over. They were determined to ensure that humanity and its allies would stand strong against the Draken, united in their quest for peace and survival. Back on Earth, the Galactic Council summoned Luke to answer for his defiance. The council chambers were filled with tension as he stood before the assembled representatives. Captain Anders, you disobeyed a direct order and endangered the fragile peace we are trying to maintain, Counselor Varn said sternly. Explain yourself. Luke met Varn's gaze with unwavering resolve. The Draken only understand force. A ceasefire would have given them time to regroup and strike us again. We had to act decisively to protect our people. The council members murmured among themselves, some nodding in agreement while others remained skeptical. Counselor Mara spoke up. Captain Anders' actions, though unorthodox, have brought us a significant victory. We must recognize the necessity of his decisions in the face of such a dire threat. After a tense deliberation, the council reached a decision. Captain Anders, your actions have been justified by the outcome. You will continue to lead the fight against the Draken, but you must work within the bounds of the council's directives. Luke nodded. Understood, counselor. I will do whatever it takes to ensure our survival. With the council's cautious approval, Luke and his fleet prepared for a strategic offensive to push the Draken back further. They analyzed intelligence reports and formulated a plan to target key Draken strongholds. Our next objective is the Draken supply depot in the Xandar system, Luke briefed his officers. If we can disrupt their supply lines, it will cripple their ability to wage war. The fleet set course for the Xandar system, ready to strike at the heart of the Draken war machine. As they approached their target, Luke addressed his crew, his voice filled with determination. This mission is crucial to our overall strategy. Stay focused and execute your orders with precision. Let's show the Draken that humanity will not back down. The battle for the Xandar system was fierce, with the Draken defenders putting up formidable resistance. Luke led his forces with tactical brilliance, coordinating their movements and exploiting weaknesses in the enemy's defenses. Focus on their supply ships, Luke ordered. We need to cut off their resources. The human fleet launched a relentless assault on the Draken supply depot, targeting warehouses and storage facilities. Explosions rocked the depot as vital supplies were destroyed, leaving the Draken forces scrambling to defend their dwindling resources. Captain, the Draken are deploying reinforcements. Jenna reported. Luke's mind raced as he considered their options. We need to hold our ground, send in the bombers to take out their reinforcements. The human bombers swooped in, delivering devastating payloads that crippled the incoming Draken forces. The tide of battle began to turn in favor of the humans, their relentless assault wearing down the enemy. After hours of intense fighting, the Draken defenses began to crumble. Luke seized the opportunity to push forward leading a final assault on the Supply Depot's Central Command Center. All units concentrate your fire on the Command Center, Luke commanded. Let's finish this. The combined firepower of the human fleet overwhelmed the Draken defenses and the Command Center was reduced to rubble. The remaining Draken forces retreated, leaving the Supply Depot in ruins. We've done it, Jenna said, her voice filled with relief. The depot is destroyed, Luke nodded, his expression grim but determined. This is a major victory, but we can't let our guard down. The Draken will retaliate and we need to be ready. As expected, the Draken launched a massive counterattack in response to the destruction of their supply depot. Human colonies and outposts across the galaxy came under siege, and the Resolute was called upon to defend them. Captain, we're receiving distress signals from multiple locations, Jenna reported. The Draken are hitting us hard. Luke's mind raced as he formulated a plan. We need to split our forces and provide support where it's needed most, coordinate with the other fleets and prepare for immediate deployment. The Resolute and its fleet divided their forces, rushing to the aid of beleaguered human settlements. The battles were fierce and relentless, with the Draken determined to crush humanity's resistance. Luke fought with everything he had, leading his forces with unwavering resolve. Despite the overwhelming odds, the human defenders held their ground. 
driven by the desire to protect their homes and loved ones. The climax of the Draken counterattack came at the human colony of New Terra, a vital strategic location. The Draken threw everything they had at the colony, determined to break the human spirit once and for all. We can't let them take New Terra, Luke said, his voice filled with determination. This is our last stand. We hold the line here no matter what. The battle for New Terra was the fiercest yet, with both sides suffering heavy losses. Luke's leadership and tactical brilliance were put to the ultimate test as he directed his forces in a desperate bid to repel the invaders. Captain, the Draken are breaching our defenses, Jenna warned. We can't let them through, Luke replied, his voice steely. Rally the troops and prepare for a counteroffensive. The human defenders launched a determined counterattack, pushing the Draken forces back inch by inch. The fighting was brutal and relentless, but the humans refused to give in. With every inch they gained, their resolve grew stronger, and they knew that this battle could be the turning point in their war for survival. In the heat of the battle, Luke spotted a group of Draken setting up a massive energy cannon aimed directly at the colony's power plant. If the power plant was destroyed, New Terra would fall. Jenna, we need to take out that cannon now, Luke ordered. Jenna nodded and coordinated an airstrike. Fighter jets zoomed overhead, targeting the cannon with pinpoint accuracy. The ground shook as the energy cannon exploded in a ball of fire, sending Draken soldiers flying. Luke seized the moment. All units, push forward, this is our chance. The human forces, inspired by the destruction of the energy cannon, launched a relentless assault on the Draken. Luke led the charge, his determination unwavering. The Draken, caught off guard by the sudden offensive, began to falter. Captain, we've broken through their lines, Jenna reported, her voice filled with hope. Keep pushing, we need to drive them out completely, Luke replied. As the human forces advanced, they targeted key Draken positions, disrupting their command structure and cutting off their supply lines. The tide of the battle began to turn decisively in favor of the humans. The Draken, realizing they were losing ground, attempted a last-ditch effort to regroup and counterattack. Luke anticipated their move and set a trap, luring the Draken into a narrow valley where they were ambushed from all sides. Now! Luke shouted, signaling the attack. The valley erupted in a blaze of laser fire and explosions as the human forces unleashed their full might. The Draken, caught in the crossfire, were decimated. Those who survived fled in disarray, their will to fight shattered. We did it, Jenna said, her voice filled with relief. The Draken are retreating. Luke allowed himself a brief moment of relief. We've won this battle, but the war is far from over. We need to stay vigilant and be ready for whatever comes next. The victory at New Terra was a turning point in the war against the Draken. The human forces, inspired by their success, rallied and launched a series of offensives that pushed the enemy back further and further. Back on Earth, the Galactic Council recognized the bravery and determination of Captain Luke Anders and his crew. Their actions had not only secured humanity's survival, but it also inspired a renewed sense of hope and resolve across the galaxy. As Luke stood on the bridge of the Resolute, looking out at the stars, he knew that the fight was far from over. But he also knew that as long as humanity stood together, they could overcome any challenge. With Jenna by his side, Luke faced the future with unwavering determination and a deep sense of purpose. Together, they would continue to protect the peace they had fought so hard to achieve and build a brighter future for all. Their journey was far from over, but they were ready for whatever lay ahead for they knew that as long as they had each other, they could overcome any obstacle and protect the fragile peace they had worked so hard to build. With the tide of war turning in favor of humanity, Captain Luke Anders and his crew returned to Earth for a much-needed respite. However, their brief moment of peace was shattered by unexpected news. The Galactic Council had discovered a mole within their ranks, someone who had been leaking critical information to the Draken. Captain Anders, Ambassador Zara, Commander Julian began during a high-level briefing. We have a serious situation. We've identified a traitor within the Council, someone who has been passing information to the Draken. We need your expertise to root out this mole and prevent further sabotage. Luke's jaw tightened. Who do you suspect? Julian hesitated before responding. Counselor Varian has been acting suspiciously. We have reason to believe he's involved. Luke and his team began their investigation immediately. They reviewed security logs, monitored communications, and interviewed council members. 
it didn't take long for them to uncover inconsistencies in Varian's activities. I found something, Zara said, showing Luke a series of encrypted messages intercepted from Varian's terminal. These coordinates match known Draken outposts. He's been feeding them our strategies. Luke nodded grimly. We need to confront him, but we have to do it carefully. If he realizes we're onto him, he might try to escape. The next day, Luke and Zara arranged a private meeting with Varian, using the pretense of discussing security protocols. As Varian entered the meeting room, Luke and Zara exchanged a subtle nod, ready to spring their trap. Counselor Varian, thank you for meeting with us, Luke began, his tone deceptively casual. We've been reviewing recent security breaches and have uncovered some troubling evidence. Varian's eyes narrowed suspiciously. What kind of evidence? Zara stepped forward, her expression serious. Evidence that points to you as the mole. We've intercepted your communications and have proof of your involvement in the sabotage plans. Varian's face twisted in anger and fear. You have no idea what you're talking about. Luke remained calm but firm. We know you've been working with the Draken. You've jeopardized the safety of the entire council. It's over, Varian. Realizing he was cornered, Varian lunged at Zara, hoping to escape. But Luke was ready. He tackled Varian to the ground, restraining him with practiced ease. It's over, Varian. You're under arrest. As security personnel arrived to take Varian into custody, Zara looked at Luke with a mixture of relief and gratitude. We did it. We stopped him. The capture of Counselor Varian revealed the extent of the Draken's infiltration and their plans for a final, desperate assault on Earth. Varian's information led to the discovery of a massive Draken fleet amassing at the edge of the solar system, preparing for an all-out attack. We have to stop them before they reach Earth, Luke said, his voice filled with urgency. This is our last chance to end this war once and for all. The Galactic Council authorized a preemptive strike giving Luke and his fleet the green light to intercept the Draken Armada. The Resolute and its sister ships set course for the edge of the solar system, determined to confront the enemy head-on. As they approached the Draken fleet, the scale of the enemy forces became clear. Hundreds of warships, bristling with weapons, stretched out before them. Captain, we're heavily outnumbered, Jenna said, her voice tinged with apprehension. We faced worse odds before, Luke replied, his resolve unwavering. All units, prepare for battle. This is it. For Earth, for humanity. Let's end this. The space around them erupted into chaos as the two fleets clashed. Lasers streaked across the void, and explosions lit up the darkness. Luke directed his forces with precision, exploiting every weakness in the Draken formation. Focus on their command ships, Luke ordered. If we can take them out, the rest will fall into disarray. The human fleet launched a series of coordinated strikes targeting the Draken command ships with relentless intensity. One by one, the enemy vessels succumbed to the onslaught, their defenses crumbling under the pressure. Captain, we've breached their flagship's defenses, Jenna reported. Boarding teams, move in, Luke commanded. We're taking that ship. Luke led the boarding party himself, fighting his way through the corridors of the Draken flagship. The resistance was fierce, but the humans pushed forward with unyielding determination. They reached the bridge where the Draken commander awaited them. A fierce battle ensued, with Luke and his team engaging the commander and his guards in close quarters combat. Blades clashed and blasters fired in the confined space. With a final decisive blow, Luke incapacitated the Draken commander securing the bridge. We've done it, he said, breathing heavily. The flagship is ours. Back on the Resolute, the remaining Draken ships began to retreat. Their formation shattered. The human fleet pursued, ensuring that the enemy would not regroup for another attack. We've won, Jenna said, her voice filled with awe and relief. The Draken are in full retreat. Luke allowed himself a moment of triumph. We've done it. We've saved Earth. The victory marked the end of the Draken threat and the beginning of a new era of peace and cooperation. Humanity had proven its resilience and strength, standing united against a common enemy. As the celebrations began, Luke and Zara stood together, reflecting on their journey. We've come so far, Zara said, her eyes shining with pride. And we did it together. Luke smiled, his heart full. Together we can face anything. Their bond had been tested time and time again, but it had only grown stronger. With each challenge, they had proven their resilience and commitment to one another. 
They knew that the road ahead would not be easy, but they faced it with unwavering determination and a deep sense of purpose. As they watched the stars above, Luke and Zara knew that their journey was far from over, but they were ready for whatever lay ahead, confident in their partnership and the strength of their bond. Together, they faced the future with hope and determination, knowing that they could handle any challenge that came their way. Their adventures had just begun, and they were ready to make their mark on the galaxy. In the aftermath of the Draken defeat, the galaxy was left in a state of cautious optimism. The victory had proven that unity and cooperation could overcome even the most formidable foes. As the celebrations wound down, the Galactic Council convened to discuss the next steps for ensuring lasting peace. Captain Luke Anders and Ambassador Zara were invited to address the Council. The chamber was filled with representatives from dozens of species, all eager to hear from the heroes who had led the charge against the Draken. Captain Anders, Ambassador Zara, you have shown remarkable courage and leadership, Counselor Mara began. The Council is eager to hear your thoughts on how we can prevent future conflicts and build a stronger united galaxy. Luke stepped forward, his voice steady and confident. The Draken War has taught us that we are stronger together. To prevent future threats, we need to establish a permanent alliance, one that goes beyond temporary coalitions and fosters mutual understanding and cooperation. Zara nodded in agreement. We propose the creation of a Galactic Defense League. This league would be composed of representatives from all member species, dedicated to maintaining peace, sharing resources, and responding to threats collectively. The council members murmured in approval. Their interest peaked. Counselor Varn, who had once doubted Luke, now spoke with admiration. This is a bold and necessary step. How do you propose we structure this league? Zara outlined their vision. Each species would have equal representation. Decisions would be made through a council of leaders, supported by a unified military force. We would share technology, intelligence, and resources to ensure the security and prosperity of all members. The proposal was met with overwhelming support. The council voted to establish the Galactic Defense League, with Luke and Zara appointed as its first co-chairs. As the new alliance took shape, Luke and Zara traveled across the galaxy, meeting with leaders and citizens to build support and forge new relationships. They worked tirelessly to lay the foundations for a future where unity and cooperation would prevail. Months turned into years, and the Galactic Defense League grew stronger. The bonds forged during the Draken War were solidified through shared efforts in exploration, scientific advancement, and cultural exchange. The galaxy entered a new era of peace and prosperity, thanks in large part to the efforts of Luke and Zara. One evening, as they stood on the observation deck of the Resolute, now a flagship of the Galactic Defense League, Luke reflected on their journey. The stars shone brightly above, a testament to the vastness and beauty of the galaxy they had fought so hard to protect. We've come a long way, Zara, Luke said, his voice filled with pride. From the battlefields of Nutera to the halls of the Galactic Council, we've made a difference. Zara smiled, her eyes reflecting the stars. And we've done it together. Our bond has been our greatest strength. I couldn't have asked for a better partner. As they looked out at the stars, a message came through from Commander Julian. Captain Anders, Ambassador Zara, we've received an invitation from the Xandar system. They're hosting a celebration to honor the anniversary of the Galactic Defense League's founding. Luke and Zara exchanged a knowing look. Another mission, Luke said with a chuckle. But this time it's a celebration. They set course for Xandar, their hearts full of hope and determination. The journey had been long and fraught with challenges, but they had emerged stronger and more united than ever. At the celebration, leaders from across the galaxy gathered to honor the achievements of the Galactic Defense League. As Luke and Zara took the stage, the crowd erupted in applause, a testament to their leadership and vision. Luke addressed the assembly, his voice carrying the weight of their shared history. Today we celebrate not just the founding of the Galactic Defense League, but the spirit of unity and cooperation that makes us strong. Together we have faced unimaginable challenges and emerged victorious. Our future is bright, and as long as we stand united there is nothing we cannot achieve. Zara added, her voice filled with emotion. Our journey has shown us that our differences are our greatest strength. By embracing them, we create a tapestry of cultures, ideas, and innovations that enrich us all. 
let this celebration be a reminder of what we can achieve when we work together. The celebration continued long into the night, filled with laughter, music, and stories of bravery and resilience. Luke and Zara moved through the crowd, greeting old friends and making new ones, their hearts filled with gratitude and pride. As the festivities drew to a close, Luke and Zara found a quiet moment to reflect. We've accomplished so much, Luke said, his voice soft. But there's still so much to do. Zara nodded, her hand resting on his. And we'll do it together, just as we always have. Our journey is far from over, and I'm excited for what lies ahead. With renewed resolve, they looked to the stars, knowing that their legacy would endure through the Galactic Defense League and the countless lives they had touched. Their bond, forged in the fires of war and tempered by the trials they had faced, would guide them as they continued to build a brighter, more united future for the galaxy. Together, Luke and Zara faced the future with hope and determination, ready to take on whatever challenges lay ahead. Their adventures had only just begun, and they were ready to make their mark on the galaxy, one mission at a time.